It is a popular gardening product many of us have used or will use as the days get warmer, but it's also a product some people fear. A West Michigan farmer says the product gave him cancer. 13 on your side's Emma Nicholas joins us now with why a local man is joining the national fight against the creators of the weed killer Roundup. Emma. At 16, Joe Brinesema and his family immigrated from the Netherlands to run a dairy farm in Barry County. Roundup was one of the many tools they relied on to control weeds. Brinesema is now 55 years old. He no longer farms and he blames the herbicide for killing his livelihood. It has altered the course of his life. 20 years ago, this would have been one of the busiest times of year for Joe Brinesema. Yeah, I mean, we worked on a farm all our lives, basically. You know, that was just standard practice. <laughs> Weed killers and insecticides, they were all commonplace for a man born into a farm family. Yeah, you handled it with your hands <laughs> all day and nobody thought anything of it. In 1996, the year Brinesema opened a farm of his own in Freeport, he was diagnosed with cancer. I lost my health, my family and my uh, business all in one year. Brinesema would later learn his story echoed that of other farmers. No family history of cancer, uh, but then they developed uh, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, which is which has been linked uh, to the active ingredient in Roundup. He's still in and out of the ER and remains on permanent disability. It, when you go through something like this, you know, people have a lot of sympathy for you. But as time goes on, you know, they have to move on. And you can't. Until last year, Brinesema had no idea Roundup could be the cause. His lawyers say that was intentional. Monsanto knew about the link between the active ingredient in Roundup and cancer. And they chose to bury those studies, fight those studies, and do anything they could to keep it from coming to light. I lost a sense of trust in humanity. Brinesema recently filed a federal lawsuit against Roundup's creator Monsanto, now owned by Bayer. And so it wasn't simply a failure to warn, it was affirmative representations about the safety of the product. A settlement won't change what's happened. I mean, how can you put a price on it? But it could bring Brinesema closer to the truth. If you really enjoy what you're doing, then somebody takes it away from you, you know? Without being at fault, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a little different. Now, as juries deliberate cases against Bayer Monsanto across the country, the company maintains that their product is not the cause of cancer. In a comment, the company said in part, Bayer stands behind their products and will vigorously defend them. Juliet, we'll continue to follow this. Thank you.